After Effects. So what I did was I uh, took my X-spline tool and I splined around his arm uh, different points so and make as many points as you can on it to uh, track it well uh, I found that just tracking this watch band part right in here just wasn't enough so I had to uh, track his whole arm and there's probably a couple of different ways to do this I'm sure there is uh, but this is the only way that I know how to do it so I'll just show you this real quick so as I track this um, let's see where my with this uh, I take this and I'll just show you how it tracked. I'll scrub through this real quick. It's kind of stuttering. So as you can see it's tracking his arm pretty well. So uh, we just took that and uh, export data. So once you have a good enough track, you know, you're happy with it and it tracked well and uh, your points didn't jump around, you can take this After Effects transform data, copy to clipboard, and go back into After Effects. So I went back into After Effects and uh, basically I put this back onto a null object. So you want to uh, create a new layer, new, null object, and I've already got one but just showing you how that works. Uh, so I'll erase that. But my null, object, <clears throat> my null object is right there. So then I just, uh, just to test it, I just put mission abort, but I'm going to comp out a nice um you know heads up display kind of thing where he's kind of pushing the buttons and stuff like that so kind of looks kind of futuristic kind of cool but these are just some of the things that you can do uh for your projects and your uh film stuff too so hey uh, uh leave a comment below subscribe and uh enjoy pass this around hope you learn from it and if you have any questions on a specific uh, tracking or a mocha thing i'll try to do one for you so thanks a lot uh, take care. Bye.